Hello everybody, this is Naomi. I'm starting on some of my Halloween decor again this year. Um, what I'm making now is I've taken some um, paper towel rollers and some toilet tissue rollers and I've just drawn out some faces and started cutting out the images. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a candle in the bottom or a tea lot in the bottom and I'm going to paint these up and I'm going to run wax or the hot glue down the front of them and I'll show you what they're going to look like because the ones that I've seen have been pretty cool looking. And if you'll notice, none of them have the same faces. And that's the way I want them. I don't want any of them to have the exact faces or eyes. Close in eyes, but not the same. So, I'm going to get these all cut out first. And then we will paint them. Run the hot glue down the front of them. Just whenever you're doing this part of it, try not to poke your finger in the with the with the scissors because it is kind of tricky. And I like my I uh, forget what these are, but. I love these. They get where I want them and they get in and they get them cut good. So there's that. Now we have this funny little mouth that I drew. Come on. I don't want to poke myself. Um... I seen these on Pinterest and thought they were pretty cool and they would make easy um, decor to do. So I thought, why not? We'll give it a try and see what happens. So here we are. It's just a matter of finagling and getting out. And there we go. And if it don't do exactly what you want it to do, just do it the best that you can do it and Just like that and just keep going. This is the most tedious part of this whole project is cutting out these little images here but once you get this all done the rest of it will move pretty easy we got this one little piece over here So 
there's that one. Something slide and fall. Yep. My room is still a disaster from the 30 day project that I did. Um, I got sick right afterwards. And I haven't even begun to um, straighten up since all of that. I really need to. But. Here we are right into the Halloween theme now, and I thought, well, it's just going to be a big disaster even more whenever I do it, so I'm just going to finish out with the Halloween themed, and then I'll worry about getting my room back to normal because I know me it's going to be a total disaster it always is because I pull out what I need so I can keep going with projects just like I did with the 30 day challenge, which a lot of that I've gotten, you know, the material wise I've gotten put up, but I still got a lot of things setting out that I used and um, all of the um, items that I made. Um, I still got to find, make homes for them and figure out what I'm going to do with them all. So. There we go. We're just about through. And we can... over here. That's why I love these little sharp pointed scissors because it gets in where I want it. Okay, so there's that part of it. Now, um, That's a small tea light. Hmm. Well, what I may have to do, and I've done it in the past, and that's just take this double sided um, tape. And run around the tea light to make it a little thicker to where where I want it, just like so. That way they fit in there just like so. Okay. So, what I'm going to do now, let me get some uh, poster board and I'll be right back. Sorry, it's not poster board, it's the um, foam board. I need to cut three round circles out in the poster board so that they set in the tops here. And I definitely want them to fit snug. So if I draw on the outer edge of this line, 
that's how I'm going to cut it out because I need it to fit like it's going to fit as snug as possible so I'm cutting out three round circles to fit at the top Got any little stragglers? Just come back with your little scissors and let's see. Should fit pretty firm in here. Okay. So, oop. Nope, 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 nope. Fingers are not long enough. I want it just past that. Just past that line. Oops. got that one in there that's the way I'm gonna leave it so let's finish cutting these out and I'll be right back so I've got all my tops cut and I've got them placed inside just like so and I've gone ahead and played with making some bottom ones and the way that I'm going to do it is the tea lot is not quite big enough, so I've made a circle and I've cut a hole in it. And I've just put three small dots of hot glue so the bottom can be removed to change the battery. But I also made a pool so that whenever you put these in and you do need to change the battery, you have something to pull it out with. And it just folds up behind it and you can't even tell that it's there. So there's that. Um, I'm not really going to worry about the bottoms for now. But um, I got to playing with it. And I'm like now the bot the, the tea light wasn't staying in it. So I'm like now how am I going to do that to where the tea light stays in it. And does what I want it to do. So... I had to figure out another way so and all I did was just take this one turn it out and then I just figured out how where I needed the light switch to turn it on at and just cut a bigger hole so that you can get your finger in there to turn it on <clears throat> so now I'm gonna get some black paint <clears throat> and I'm going to paint these black and we'll go from there so I'll be right back. I'm back now. So I'm going to take this black paint. Give it a good shake. Because this is a brand new bottle. In a minute. I've got another bottle. And I'll finish using that before. I do that one. I forgot I had this. And, and I don't really like to open up a new one. 
about using up the old ones first. So, now all we're going to do is just paint everything black. And the good thing is you can hold it on the inside and then we'll come back and put the um, the glue drippings down the side like a candle. I don't worry about getting a little bit of paint on my hands or whatever. So, there's one. Just set it to the side and let it dry. Never have been one for gloves. Um... It takes away being able to feel what I'm doing, and I don't like that, so I always try to just do it by hand. And the good thing is this is not going to take but probably one coating. And get some more paint. There we go. And that's all you're doing is just giving it a good cover. That's all. But um, I am feeling much better. I've been away due to being sick. No, I didn't have the corona. I had uh, strep throat. And a real bad um, sinus infection. Um, took me a little bit to get over it. I was really trying to kick my butt. And um, finally got to the doctor and got some medicine to get rid of it. Uh, my granddaughter's the one that brought it home. Um, and her and I spend a lot of quality time together. So, yeah, it's normal for me to get it and right along with her. So, thank God I was the only one that caught it. My husband didn't get it. Um, my daughter didn't get it, but I was beginning to wonder if I was going to get over it. I mean, it really had me down and didn't feel like doing anything, no crafting. Um, I had a couple of entries come in. I did go ahead and get those done, even though I was sick, because I don't, I... I don't like leaving entries set for very long because I want the people to know that I got them. 
uh, or the person know that I got them. And that way they don't sit and worry whether they got lost in the mail or things like that. And, and two, it's just my way of showing appreciation that I really appreciate that they took the time to enter and, you know, get it here, you know. So, but now it's just a matter of letting these dry. Then we will, you see they're drying pretty quick. I do see a few places in the eyes that I need to touch up. But that'll be what you do is just kind of go back and look and see if you've got any small places. Because one coat is doing it. This paper is really sucking the paint in. So that really helps as well. I want all of the brown covered up. So there's that one. Which looks pretty good. Here's another brown spot that needs to be covered. There's one. And there's that one. This one's still pretty wet. But I get all the brown spots covered now, and I don't have to worry about it. Here's another one. It's right in his mouth. So there's that. Okay, I took the time real quick while we were on a quick and dried these up real quick. So they're all dry now. This is what they look like. All dry. But one of the things that I'm going to do is I'm going to take some white paint and I'm just going to paint the back side of this. Not the front side. Just the back side. That way the light will reflect a little bit better inside here to where you can really see the light. Oop, I got too far close, too far around. bit in this eye here but I can get it painted with covered up with no problem you just run it just enough to where it'll make whenever that light hits that back wall that it's going to shine through better so let's be a little easier on this one and not get so close That way we don't have to worry about touching it up. You just want to come low enough to where past the mouth.
Okay, so there's that one. I only got one to touch up so far. And I'm trying to be really careful and not getting any more out of there like that. And I'll show you in just a minute what I'm talking about. See what I'm saying? See how I'm just painting it on the back side of the wall and not getting it where the eyes are? That way, whenever that light hits in the background, it's going to make it brighter. And that's what I'm trying to do. I really want that white light to... I mean, that, that colored light to to shine where you can really see it. Okay, I got a little touch up on that one. The rest of them are pretty good. I didn't get any. I have to watch it because the roll starts getting wet and then it wants to concave in but a lot of people don't do this step and I've played with it with it being just in the brown and then painted one and the white to see where you know what how it looked and that's why I always try to do a little test to see how it looks. So that's why I'm doing it this way. Okay, so now I'm going to touch up that little bit of black, that little bit of white that I did on this one. That way it just covers it back up. So there's that. Let me make sure. Excuse me, my belly is really been growling and making a lot of noise this morning. And I eat breakfast, so I don't know what's going on, but I guess that's good. They say that when your belly growls, that means your digestive system is working and your metabolism is working. And I'm working on a new project as far as my metabolism and um, stuff like that. I'm taking a new venture, so every little bit will help. <laughs> and these little lids, they're just off of like uh, Ammonium D or um, Maalox and stuff like that. I have a little lady that keeps all of these for me because this paint will dry in here and I can just take and catch it just right and it'll peel right out and I love these so I reuse these over and over and over and over so I'm going to quickly do a quick dry on this white paint so we can move on so I'll be right back okay and now I'm just going to take the high glue gun and we're going to easily Go around the eyes. I don't want a big clopping. I just want to make out the eyes. And we'll come back. Okay. So 
there's that one. I love this glue gun. See how that's all we want is for it to just lightly stand out to give it that image of its a uh, eyes and a mouth. Just turn it around. Okay, so there's that. And if you get a little bit on the side. You're not going to be able to see that anyways because you're going to have the drippings running down the side. But I want to let that dry for a minute so we don't smear it. So, but in here, we're just going to start coming in and giving it some glue up here. That way you can start seeing the... Glue stick in. Don't have to be perfect up here. Now you're just gonna. Like I said, you don't have to be perfect. Just don't burn your fingers because this does get... Give it a minute, let it set and dry because if you don't, you'll smudge it. And I really don't want this top up here to be perfect at all. Just let it do what it's going to do. Give it a few minutes and then you'll be able to really start seeing where it's drying, what you've done.
And as you see, I still have a little bit of um, drainage. It's not bad, but it's it's irritating if you know what I mean. Oops, I touched that one and I didn't want to. Now see where I'm going back over this to where it just... And I like starting from the bottom and going up because once you get up here, if it makes a, a weird little design, it's not going to hurt anything. That leaves all of your strings up at the top too, which gives it a little more character. And you don't want these straight, just let it flow. I'm getting too fast and my glue gun is not keeping up. So we'll give it a minute. And that's what I'm going to do to all of these, which I, you know, this is just your first coat. You will come back and drizzle another coat over it. See, that's your first all the way around. And then you'll just kind of come back and start easing in a few others. Because you don't want them all the same length. You want some stragglers, you want some little ones. Okay. Here is this one. I'm going to leave it this away. Because I think we've got enough drippage and runnage on it. So we're going to start another one. Set it over there. And we're just going to do this one the same way. Just start up here at the top. Stick another glue stick in. And just... Just like that. And just start dripping the glue. And you just keep putting it up here at the top and running it run down and then you'll start making your way down the And I'm going to tell you right now, this is going to use up a lot of glue sticks. And 
And don't make your lines straight. Just give them some zigs and some zags and And have a few of them straight, but for the most part, um, for the most part, you want them, um, I'm putting in another glue stick, um, you want them kind of zigzagged. Come on, get in there and do what you're supposed to do. Okay, now I'm going to come back and do these eyes. So that they're highlighted and you can see just like so. And I'm going to start this in over here. So crickety mouth, you just kind of have to do it fast. And if the strings show through, it's not going to hurt nothing. I'm going to leave some of those strings there just for a little bit of added character. Like I said, don't worry about the, the stringies because you're not going to be able to see all of those anyways once we're done. Okay, give it a minute. Let it cool off. And then we can add some more to it. And like I said, these up here, just these little glue strings, just pull them off. And I do want to get this all filled in. It just looks better if you're looking at it from the top. Or at least almost filled in, if you know what I mean. And you can take it and 
roll it and turn it and Now just, so now, now you're just coming back and adding some bonus, um, like I said, you don't want them all the way down, take and double them up, make some thicker. Drip it. That's all you're doing. So I'm going to finish up this one and this one. Once I get them all um, with the hot glue on them, then I'll come back and show you what we're going to do from there because my video is getting a little long. Okay, now we have them all completed with the hot glue on all of them so now I've got some silver paint and I'm just going to load my brush and I'm just going to lightly dry brush over the top. That's all I'm doing. Okay, so there's that one. I'm just going to do this in the same way. Load her up. Over here and wipe off the excess and just like I said, dry brush it. Set it here, let it dry for a few minutes. Cause I'm gonna do this twice. Because I don't want the silver to be a truce, if you know what I mean. Obnoxious. I just want it to be to where it kind of covers up the hot glue. Like so. And I'll come back in and do a little bit here just to give it a little bit of color and I'm going to set that one there I'm going to go back to the first one Grab this one. Doing it the same. Make up here. Get the top. Now, 
We're just going to set, let these dry, then we'll come back and do the bottoms and put the lights in them. Here's what they look like in their final stages. But I will be taking some pictures. So that you can see just how they really are once I get them in their containers. Because what I did, I bought, so where are they? I bought four of these little boxes like this here. So what I've done is I've taken one and I've painted it completely black. And what I'm going to do with it is I'm going to put some green moss in front of it or in the bottom. And then I'm going to come and set my tea lights inside it like so. And I'm going to make a um, tombstone and I'm going to set the tombstone here and you'll be able to see, I'm trying to <laughs> finagle this, and then that's how it will set in the little tray. But once I'm done with it, I will take some ending pictures and they'll be at the end of the video. So if you like my video, hit the like and subscribe. Help me keep crafting and help me keep growing. Um, and happy Halloween, everyone. I love this time of the year. Um, I missed Halloween by two days. I was born November the 2nd. Um, I was supposed to have been a spook baby. Missed it by two days. So Halloween has always been kind of my favorite time of the year. So I really enjoy uh, making things like this. And I will be doing some other uh, pictures of my witchy station. Uh, I finally got my witch fully dressed. Um, Y'all only got to see that her with the mannequin last year. And her dress and her... Um, um, her witch hat and her shoes. I've got her completely finished now. I found a mannequin head. I've got it painted up. I bought a wig to go on her. Uh, it's really looking really good. So, uh, I, like I said, I will be back with a bunch more Halloween decor. And all of this, well, pretty much from Dollar Tree. The toilet paper rolls or paper towel rolls was, you know, you can get them out of anything. But this box here, even the tea lots was from Dollar Tree. So, thank you and have a good day.